Welcome to our short update on a responsive grant making redesign. Vancouver Foundation's vision is to support healthy, vibrant, and livable communities across British Columbia. In 2015, we'd like to build upon the good work we've accomplished over the years to reimagine the value we can create through our work and to design a grant making program that creates meaningful and lasting improvements in our communities. As part of our change process, we went out to talk to our key stakeholders grantees, the volunteer advisors we work with, other funders in the community, some of our own fund holders, and social innovators working on bringing new ideas forward. Currently, almost all of the department's human and financial resources are allocated to responsive grant making, which constrains the resources available to support and develop the department's other strategic priorities. It's not about trying to do more with less. The redesign gives us an opportunity to reimagine how we can create the most value across all of our work. Guiding our work are some emerging philanthropic practices. First and foremost, we will continue to be guided by community-driven priorities. We wish to create a more simplified and efficient grant-making process. We'd like to investigate whether working towards common outcomes creates greater impact over time, and we'd like to learn and share knowledge about the grants we've made. Vancouver Foundation has always funded innovation, but what we haven't done so well is to define what we mean by the term innovation. Typically, Vancouver Foundation receives over a thousand new proposals every year, and only a small portion funnel through the assessment and decision-making process to receive a grant. We've come to realize that the projects that make it all the way through the process are, in fact, the most innovative ones. These projects tend to favor social innovations that apply new learning and strategies to affect complex social issues and that target and influence larger social systems. To be as clear and transparent as possible about the projects we seek to support, a new working definition for social innovation has been adopted. Broadly defined, social innovation is an initiative, product, process or program that profoundly changes any social system through one of four mechanisms. How we act and what we do, how resources flow, such as money, knowledge and power, how authority flows, such as through laws, policy and rules, or through our basic beliefs and what we believe to be true, and the difference between right and wrong. What we heard from our stakeholders was that it makes sense for Vancouver Foundation to be working in the social innovation space. We also heard that a clear definition of social innovation, well-articulated examples, and public education workshops will be needed to help the community understand this more specific definition of innovation. We also recognize that our preference to support social innovations exclusively means that some worthy projects working outside of an innovative framework will most likely not be brought forward for funding consideration. As a community foundation, we work within the intersection of three major influences. The first influence is the outcomes and priorities that the community brings forward. The second influence we work under is the intentions behind the many different endowment funds that we now manage. And the third influence is our board's desire for measurable, meaningful outcomes. The intersection between these three influences is the funding context that Vancouver Foundation is best positioned to operate within. We also want to make sure that diverse communities across the province can bring their priorities forward by focusing their projects towards an inclusive set of outcomes. To enable this, we wish to introduce a more simplified and efficient grant-making framework. One option is to grant along the lines of traditional commonly used fields, such as arts and culture, education and training, environment and health and social development. Grant seekers, donors and funders have all been working within this type of framework for many years, and the options and activities that fall under these traditional fields are well understood and are fairly easy to implement. The second option under consideration is more goal-oriented. These fields are more thematic and align directly to Vancouver Foundation's vision of healthy, vibrant and livable communities. We asked our stakeholders which of these two options will allow social innovations working towards outcomes to come forward more easily. There was a lot of support for the healthy, vibrant and livable framework because it offers a progressive and creative approach to supporting community ideas and priorities. Having said this, there was also recognition that this markedly different framework will be more challenging to implement as a first step due to its need for significant user testing and systems changes. There was also support for the traditional common framework because of its easy to understand and familiar structure. 
We heard that clear communications, a careful implementation, and ongoing consultation and dialogue will be needed in order to succeed, regardless of which framework we ultimately choose. Our stakeholder consultations gave us a lot of food for thought, and upon reflection, we feel that evolving the four traditional common fields is the more viable option at this time, and best builds upon our existing momentum. We believe that we can create value within this enhanced framework by supporting social innovations throughout their life cycle, because different projects require different kinds of support at different times in their evolution. And so, we propose offering four different types of grants in the future. Develop grants are shorter term. They help organizations turn innovative ideas into viable project plans. Test grants help to launch those ideas and to help test the effectiveness of new or existing innovations. Grow grants help proven innovations to scale up or to scale out to additional communities. And learned grants are meant to support a cohort of grantees working towards common outcomes. These grants provide additional resources to help grantees understand the context they're working within and to connect them to educators and policymakers that can inform or benefit from their work. Learn grants also help organizations connect and learn from each other and to help them to overcome the challenges and barriers they experience along the way. We heard from our stakeholders that all of these approaches, taken together, create a clear path for socially innovative projects to develop and grow across British Columbia. Vancouver Foundation's responsive grant-making redesign is a work in progress, and we welcome your feedback, questions, and ideas as we continue to examine potential options for implementing a redesigned field of interest grant-making program for 2015. Stay tuned for another update, and thanks for sharing the journey with us.